I will, I'm going to discuss about the uh, force reapplying of the Intune policy using the configuration refresh feature. This uh, uh, it's a disclaimer. It's not a uh, new feature though. It's it's been a while. It's released, but uh, you know, yeah. But still, it gonna it gonna help us a lot. So, uh, all right. So yeah, before before I jump into the agenda, uh, you know, I'm switching the ladder. So probably you all know me. If you uh, right, I'm I'm a Microsoft Graph MVP and work on the you know SCM VMware Cloud Intune and the little uh, the automation part and the DevOps as well. All right, and this is my LinkedIn ID. You could just connect me over the LinkedIn. Right, this are my agenda for today. <clears throat> well, uh, I will talk about uh, what is Microsoft Intune configuration refresh and what are the prerequisites that we need to consider before you configuring the uh, say the uh the configuration or maybe the intune config refresh uh policy right so what is the difference between the config refresh policy and the native intune policy thing right so you all would probably would get confused what is intune configuration refresh policy and the policy thing so uh, then we'll go to the de uh, demo and obviously we'll have the uh, q a session end of this uh, you know uh, end of this presentation all right so let me move to the next slide so what is uh a Microsoft Intune configuration uh, refresh uh, feature. So, like I said, it's not a new feature though. We, we you all have the mission which is enrolled to the Intune. So, uh, the question here it is: What if if someone uh, delete or remove the policy that you have already deployed? So, you would deploy tons of deploys, hundreds of deploy uh, the uh, policies to the uh, your your missions or like you know, your endpoint devices. What if someone have deleted? Is there a way to like you know get it back? Yeah, we will. Dis we are gonna discuss about that here. So we we need to we need to check it like you know if say for example if you have hundred policies so that you have already configured on the missions and we have to check it whether all the policies are there or not in a frequent interval that's what we're gonna configure it here all right <clears throat> in Dune configure refresh was the top top requested improvement for the mobile device management or the MDM right so the configure refresh uh, uh, refresh feature will let you set a, a cadence time or maybe a certain particular time frame for the Windows devices to reapply previously received policy settings without recurring device to check to the Intune right so the this policy will or maybe the checking will happen or maybe the configuration would happen on the end user device itself uh, from the device itself the mission will check automatically whether I have the old policies which I already got it so if any policies are, de are deleted or removed so you will get the policies back right that's what we, uh, that's what we're going to configure it here configure re <clears throat> configure refresh is designed to provide improved functionality that was available with the group policy all right the group policy undergoes with the refresh uh, process every 19 minutes right that you you or probably know while mdm policy refresh occurs every eight hours that's what you have to keep in mind However, by building the utilizing the config uh, refresh policy pitch feature, you can customize the policy refresh interval. That's what I, you know, uh, told about, or maybe I spoke about the uh, the cadence time, or maybe the time frame, right? So here you could set the time when you could uh, check for the policies. Maybe you could just define a certain interval. Uh, by default, it would go for a 90 minutes, but you could just, you know, uh, set it to 30 minutes, or maybe max to max, you could set it to 24 hours. All right, so uh, uh, it's an offline functionality. Yes, you no need to require the MDM server or maybe the MDM connectivity over there. So you could you could post the uh, config refresh option, uh, option as well if you want to troubleshoot it or maybe if you want to do something on the end user device once it is once it is uh, deployed, right? You could just po post it for 24 hours, right? After that, it will just reapply again by default, right? Config uh, refresh policy is designed to work with the MDM policy managed by the policy CSP, right? So whatever the CSP you have deployed, that will get reapplied or maybe re, uh, re or maybe not redeployed proper technically i can't say it's a redeployed one maybe it will just check it again what are the policy csp that you have applied it and if it is not there it will get back the policy on the same mission some po some policies this policy uh, this point has to be noted always see some policies notably bit law uh, bit locker csp will also add that to configure refreshment enablement and en enablement and the uh, other policies right uh, outside the scope such as like firewall app uh, the app locker pda labs all are like you know outside of the scope so you probably can't do anything with for this uh, policies right while a uh, config refresh ensures the compliance with the previously downloaded configuration it doesn't actively check for the new or updated policy from the intune so whatever the policy you set it right it will just look for the policy if it is not there it will just work on that and you will get the policy right whatever the policy you're going to apply it or maybe like you know, whatever the uh, policy you may be newly created or with the updated policy from the intune it will it will not have a uh, check on that all right so 
what are the prerequisites? What are the prerequisites to configure Microsoft Intune Configure Refresh feature? The first few prerequisites here, you know what? Uh, you have to have a Windows 11 version 23H. Uh, 23H2 or version 22H2. There is a minimum requirement what Microsoft says. Also, the Windows 11 machine must be updated with the uh, security patch which was released on uh, May 2024 or and the uh, patch which was released on the uh, June 2024. So you have to ensure these two updates are installed on your machine, right? So the policy thing is still essential. The reason I you know noted down this point, you know what? When I talk about uh, the in Microsoft Intune config uh, refresh policy or maybe the feature, people would get confused that okay, when I configure this one, whether I would need to uh, maybe work on that, maybe configure the policy sync, or maybe do I still need to do the policy sync on the end user device? The answer is still uh, it's essential. It, yeah, you have to uh configure maybe you have to do the policy sync always right it's always a prerequisite for configuration refresh to work if the policy sync is not working the config refresh also will not work <clears throat> This is important to understand what are the main difference between the config refresh and the policy sync, right? So it uh, the config refresh enforces the critical security settings like encryption and the password complexity. But when it comes to the policy sync, it, it check uh, maybe uh, the device check in or maybe like you know policy sync would happen with the Intune uh, at a predefined interval. Say for example, by default it go for an eight hours. Maybe if you define a certain time, it will go for a policy sync on a uh, interval that you have defined in your organization. The second point is the task check locally or for the deviation from the previously downloaded configuration from the Intune at uh, you know for a certain frequent or maybe certain interval of time so whatever the policy or maybe CSP that you have already applied so it will just look for that and uh, for a certain period period or maybe like you know certain frequent maybe the interval of time Right. When you sync a policy, a device retrieve any new or updated policy that everyone knows. So, what does the policy sync uh, would do? So, what is the what is the what is the like you know how does the policy sync would work? So, when you sync a policy, it will just look for the new updates or maybe the updated policy, right? So, that is still essential, like I said. So, you still need it. So, without that, the config refresh policy will not work, or maybe the feature will not work. It ensures consistent configuration across your device fleet to prevent the unintentional or unauthorized modifications. Say for example, if uh, if uh, any admin or maybe uh, like someone have removed some registry settings or maybe someone had removed some policies or some some settings in your machine or maybe the end user machine, so you could just prevent that kind of uh, you know uh, accident deletion or accident modification using the config refresh uh, feature. All right. So policy sync ensures that all the policies are applied eventually. All right. So now it's a demo time. Let me open my Intune portal here. All right. So let me drag that Intune portal here. <clears throat> All right. So I'm in my Intune portal. So I, okay, I'll go to the devices here. Right when I'm in the device, so I'll go to the uh, uh, Windows. Right, I'll go to the configurations here. It's very simple to set up. Just click on the new policy. Right. So once I click on the new policy, I have to select the platform here, which has to be a uh, Windows 10 and later. Also, the policy type has to be uh, setting catalog. All right. So I'll just click on create. Right. So here I have to, uh, you know, put the name, uh, the description. Right. So if you really wanted to put it, you could just put it over there. So I will I will just say that maybe that's so what I would say. Uh, config uh, refresh. Let me put it like this uh, refresh feature okay right so i'll just say that um maybe htmd user group meetup right so march 2025 Okay, this is the description I'm putting here. So the name is fine, the description is fine. So next is configuration settings. I'll click on add settings, right? So here we have to search for a keyword which is nothing but config refresh. Okay, so I'll just uh, search for the config refresh here. All right. So when you search for the config refresh, you will get the result here. When you click on the config refresh, you will have two settings. You just click on select all the settings. You have to select the config refresh op option and the refresh cadence option, right? I'll just close here. So by default, you see, as I said, it's set to 90, uh, 90 minutes, right? So I will do one thing. I will just you know, change it to 30 minutes here, right? So every 30 minutes, I want to uh, you know, check for the uh, policies, all right? So also I have to enable the config refresh here, okay? so once 
once I enable, uh, it will start you know looking for the you know policies or maybe the CSPs which is which you have already deployed. If not enabled, so it doesn't make any uh, changes. All right. So if you wanted to uh, you know learn more about this uh, you know feature, you just click here on the learn more and it will like you know just open it. Right. It uh, Microsoft already documented the you know details over here. You could just see the CSP uh, all the details here. It's taking time, I believe. Right. Yeah. So yeah, let me search for the cadence. Right, so if I just check for the cadence, right? So you see, this is a CSP here, right? So it's just looking for what would be the value. The format is integer, right? So what would be the default value? Is? It is set to 90 day, no, sorry, 90 minutes, right? Also, the maximum value it's uh, 1440, which meaning that, which means that uh, 24 hours, right? You could do your math. So, uh, so the minimum is 30 minutes, and the maximum is 24 hours, or maybe like you know, uh, 1440 minutes, all right? So I will change the value to 30 minutes here and uh, click next and you could get you know set the scope tag if you really need it i will do the assignment right i'll just click on the add groups and just for search for the hdmt test computer right i'll just uh, you know do the test uh, stuff here select it and one device and uh, review create it okay i will just uh, refresh uh, the cadence is set to 30 minutes and the config refresh option is enabled i'll just uh, you know uh, check all the things here and i'll create uh, the stuff so things are created now what i will just log into the mission all right so let me log into the mission so it will take a while it will take uh, take a while to you know reflect the things on your end user device right so the policy has to get synced however i have already tested it so i probably no need to wait so i'll just log into the mission now <clears throat> Right. <clears throat> Once the policy is deployed, how you could check it whether the policy is working or whether the feature is working fine or not. So I'll the very first option. What you have to check, you know, what you have to come here in the task scheduler, right? You all know about the task scheduler, right? So when uh, you know when you come to the task scheduler, uh, task scheduler, just open the micro, uh, you know, go inside the task scheduler library, just open the Microsoft and just expand the Windows. There's an option called Enterprise Management Non-Critical or Enterprise MGMT Non-Critical. So you could see uh, an ID, right, a subfolder that is created uh, with, uh, you know, a new task scheduler uh, stuff, right? So it's a say that you know, schedule uh, created by a DM client to refresh the setting. You see, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's scheduled to uh, next run or maybe next run going to be like, you know, uh, today, uh, so and so PM, right, 12, 29 uh, PM, right, local time probably. So the last run was on like, uh, you know, uh, say, uh 11 uh, 15 right 59 so every every 30 minutes it's keep running right so uh like uh, th this is the place where you could check it where the policy has been applied successfully or not so you could check it in the uh, registry as well so let me just check it here just open the registry if you go inside the registry right there's uh, uh if you just uh, go to the microsoft software microsoft and enrollments and if you just get that id which you just uh, you know have seen in the uh uh, task scheduler right if you just open it or maybe expand it you could see the config refresh folders created and it has the value which you already defined in your policy all right or maybe the profile so the cadence uh the number or maybe the minute is set to 30 right yeah we set it to 30 and it is enabled or not yeah when the value is one which means that it's enabled and when the value is uh zero right it means that it's disabled Okay, uh, we, we found that uh, all the settings has been applied. The policy has been applied literally. So now we need to check it how it would work, right? So, okay, I'll just show that. That's the most interesting part here. So I'll go to the next uh, registry path. I'll just like, you know, delete all the things. All right, so I'll just to go to the Microsoft and I'll go to the policy manager, right? If I go to the policy manager, I would be able to see something called current. Yeah, there's a folder called current, right? If you just go inside the current and device, you could see the policy which you have created so far. You see, there are lots of policies or the profiles which have, you know, maybe the CSP that I have already applied, right? And like an you know, apply to the missions and which is working fine as well. So I'll do one thing. I'll just delete one uh, policy here, or maybe the profile here. So I will just delete the Bluetooth here and I'll say I'm deleting it. Now you see the Bluetooth is no more. I'll come to the task manager here and I will run uh this uh you know a task scheduler not task manager sorry so when i run the task scheduler here by uh maybe manually right by just clicking the run right so i will just see what is the condition here it is just i'll just refresh it and uh, it is just running right 
it's just running all right it's just running so i'll just wait for to finish okay it's completed so i'll come back to the policy again here and i'll come here and maybe i'll just go for a refresh i don't have that option so i'll just uh I click uh you know refresh options let's see i got that bluetooth device back to my registry settings which means that i got the policy back all right so that's all uh, that's all about uh, you know the config refresh and uh, refresh feature in the intune like i said it's not a new feature though but i believe it's going to help us a lot right uh, if you just enable it i would recommend to uh, deploy this feature to all the machine irrespective of the collection or maybe irrespective of the department irrespective of the like uh, uh, the people who you know uh, use the you know, machine so it doesn't really matter all the machine in your environment i strongly believe uh, you know has to get this get this feature and if anyone delete any any policy right accidentally for any reason right those machines could get the policy uh, by you know by by using this pro uh, feature uh, and without any delay all right i am done with my session